Hi, artists, and welcome back to Art Class with Mrs. Comer. I had so much fun looking at your painting exploration works that you did last week. So guess what we get to do today? We get to work in our sketchbooks, and we are going to have an idea generation day. And I'm so excited because first and second graders are going to be generating ideas about our all-time favorite foods. So start thinking of some of your favorite foods. Here's what we're going to do today. We will generate multiple ideas for our art through thumbnail drawings. What's a thumbnail drawing? Yes, that's right. It is a tiny little sketch that artists do to help them make ideas. And at the end of class, we're going to reflect on our ideas with a partner if we have one. Here's our agenda of the day. We're going to look at different types of paint and materials, just review those really quickly. Then we're going to look at different paintings of food from some artists who are famous for painting food. After that, we'll do a turn and talk or a stop and think if you have no one near you where you can talk about some of your all-time favorite things to eat that you would like to make art about. We'll create four different thumbnail sketches about food in our sketchbook, and then we'll clean up and then we'll show what you know. So remember, one way to create art is through painting. Very good job. It is through painting. These are some of the types of paint that we are using to make our art. So here are some artists who paint food. This artist's name is Jolf Sparne. And where is he from? Yes, he's from the Netherlands. Now you're probably thinking, Mrs. Comer, that's not a painting, that's a picture of an egg. But guess what? That's actually a real painting. It's called hyperrealism, and that's when you make art that is so realistic, it looks like it's real life. Let me show you another one. This artist's name is Carmen Gonzalez, and she is from Puerto Rico. And we have three paintings here that Miss Bendy actually picked out for us to look at, and she paints food as well. This artist's name is Vic Vicini, and they are from the United States. What do you see in this painting? Yes, pancakes. What else? Blueberries, bananas, yum. She painted those. Now, this painting that we picked out for you this week, um, we don't actually know the artist. The artist is unknown, but we thought that it was a wonderful painting of food for you to see. And then here is one more to look at. This artist's name is Steve Masca. And where is he from? Australia. He is from Australia. What do you think that is? I know it looks so textural, doesn't it? So let's move on to a turn and talk or a stop and think. If you are here in the classroom, this is when you pause the video, stand up, and Miss Bindi and I will help you find a partner. If you are at home, you can either talk to somebody near you if they're making art with you today, or you can just stop and think to yourself the questions and the answers because often people around us are busy. The turn and talk question of the day is what is your favorite food and why? What are some of your all-time favorite foods and why do you like them? Are you ready? Pause the video now and talk it out. Great job, guys. I'm so excited to see what kind of art we make for our food today. So here's our challenge. Say challenge accepted. First things first, we are going to get out our sketchbooks and open to a brand new page. With a pencil, we will draw a line vertically and horizontally. And how many squares will we have? One, two, three, four. We will have four squares that we will fill up today with ideas with our pencils. Think about your favorite foods. Draw a picture. It can be abstract or realistic that shows food in one of the squares. And I only want you to spend a few minutes on each square. At the end of class, you are going to pick out which one is your favorite square. We're going to circle it or put a check mark by it because we can only move forward with our best idea from today. Here are some student examples of maybe some kinds of foods that you could be drawing some ideas like in your sketchbook. Maybe these will inspire you. 
for what kind of art you will make in your sketchbook and what kind of art maybe we could go ahead with for our wow work. Now, friends, are you ready to see me draw my sketchbook? Let's do it. All right, friends, here is my sketchbook that I've made with Miss Deo's class. I'm gonna open it up. I'm not gonna draw on this page because I've already drawn there. I'm opening up to a brand new page. Now, what kind of lines did I say we're gonna draw? That's right, we're gonna draw a vertical line going up and down. We're gonna draw a horizontal line going left to right. And how many squares do I have? Count with me, one, two, three, four. Good job, artist. I wanna be organized. I'm actually gonna write the numbers. One, two, three, and four. Now, hmm, what kind of food should I draw? Let's see. Guys, these are my four sketches that you just watched me draw. The, this is actually macaroni and cheese and french fries with barbecue sauce and barbecue meat on it. Yum. This is a um, big piece of watermelon. I kind of zoomed in on it. What do you think this is? It's the tea I like to drink all the time. And then this one is a drawing of sushi. And when I looked at my four ideas, I had to think, which one is my strongest idea? Which one do I want to paint for a wow works? What is something I wanna do for two weeks in a row? And I decided it was number four. And I'm so excited to do that next week. Wow, guys, I had so much fun drawing in, uh, drawing in our sketchbooks, our favorite types of foods. Let's do show what you know. Show what you know. If you have someone near you, you're going to be telling your partner about your strongest thumbnail sketch and why you decided it was better than your other three drawings. As an artist, a lot of times we want to make art about a lot of things, but thumbnail sketches are going to help us weed out our weakest ideas and stick with our strongest ideas. So talk about your absolute strongest idea and why you think it was your strongest one. I had so much fun making art with you today and I can't wait to paint with you next week. I'll see you later.